You guys want to watch it? The frog suit tass? It might be dumb. This is all Tampa. Apparently it's done in 51 minutes and seven seconds, which is really gross. Some things to know about frog suit. Pea speed is faster, faster than Mario's pea speed. And a lot of you would be like, well, how does the frog even get pea speed? Well, the way the frog works, if you grab an item, it kind of takes you out of the leaping frog phase. Your turning is actually faster too. High, higher accelerated turning. Let's take a look at how he does this in 51 minutes. It's like almost faster than all the top 10 warpless runners. It's crazy. All right, let's take a look. Just to start off, a lot of you might be wondering, well, how the hell does he have a frog suit? The reason he has a frog suit is he used a cheat on the emulator to give him the frog suit constantly. Now this is entirely a meme run. This is not something for you to take serious. I don't want to, I don't want anyone spamming cheater or anything like that. So he'll always have the frog suit. Well, there's our first introduction to stutter step. You might be wondering why did Tampa not stutter step at the start like the original task? And that's because he does not have a shell yet. He doesn't have speed, so it's useless. One thing to note with the frog suit, I'm gonna go back just really quickly here. Every time you do a frame perfect jump with the frog, you actually don't lose momentum. So it's like leapfrogging with a frog, essentially. If you walk on the ground, the frog suit has this very slow walking animation, right? It does like the, the hip hops that are super slow. You guys know everything now? Let's get into it. So he's got P speed, but he's what? What is that? Is that is that when you've exceeded a certain amount of speed? You turn into Luigi. You get a double Luigi going. What the hell? No sliding speed. Utilizing a lot of enemies to keep high speeds. There's no shell in this level, so he... tompa has got to be a little creative here. It's the leg, like, you, you know how Mario slides down a hill and he's like kicking his legs? The frog suit was never given an animation for that. Um, so when the frog suit goes into that weird animation, um, yes. So this is what it looks like if you don't task. It's all slow, right? So that's why RTA runners would be really, it'd be really crazy difference in times for RTA runners. There's no way the frog suit doesn't get early hammer here, right? Nice. There we go. All right, we're back. You get tunnel? Pretty much. Pretty much. God, this is so cool. Oh, there it is again. Let's go back. Right here. Yes. Look at, what is that? What? Okay, that is Hammer Suit Mario, Tanuki Mario, Frog Suit Mario with a swimming Luigi above them. Yeah, what is that swimming Luigi? Like, oh my God, L is, L is real. Good. I'm very happy that Frog Suit Mario, what? Wait, can RTA runners do that P-Speed right there? Can we do that? Is there enough room? Don't tell me that's a new strategy. A slightly earlier P-Speed right there. Or is it because the frog suit can go fast enough? Right here, look at the P-Meter arrows. Is it because the frog suit can go fast enough? So the frog suit's faster, so it allows you to preserve that one arrow better. Okay, well, I'm still gonna try that as an RTA runner. It wouldn't be that big of a time save. It'd probably be a couple frames, but... Here's a little bit of trivia for you guys. What is the king gonna say when frog suit Mario retrieves the wand? He says, oh me, oh my, and what else? That's not all he says. What does he say? Thanks, frog. Now get out. What? How did you not get that? What the? <laughs> the king, he's like, no way do you get off-screen wand grab. I can't even get off-screen wand grab with... Oh, my God. Oh, me. Oh, my. You've been transformed. Shall I change you back with this wand? And Mario can't talk, so he just ghosts him completely and goes to World 2. This task was created by Tampa in 2017 of September. September 2017. All right, we are in Desert World. 
What? You're not gonna tell me that was overkill? Did you need to build it there? That was crazy. We gotta slow this down. Look at how dumb this is. Look at this P-Speed build. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Yeah, but it saved seven frames, Mitch. <laughs> All right, the swimming Luigi. Dude, is he gonna get early hammer? Yep, here it comes. So every time you see the frog jump here without slowing down, he's doing frame perfect jumps. It might, is it a two frame window or is it a single frame window? I've always called it frame perfect jumps. It's the way our minds work, we should think of it as single frame jumps. What the heck? Oh! Because you're slow, you can't actually run under those thwomps. Interesting. What? What? You just wall jump the spike? That wall jump was like lower. It was six pixels lower than the line. I saw it. You did the same thing in the other task. Cheeky little bugger. All right, so, well, this one doesn't play much of a role because of being able to grab the shell, right? What? So remember, anyone watching this, remember the frog suit cannot duck before we get to it. Picture all the little things in Mario 3 where you have to go through a one tile gap and you have to ask yourself, how is the frog suit gonna go in the one tiles? So keep that in mind. Yep, he had to do that there. Wow. And you kept P- It's so weird that you can keep P-Speed. You can clearly see that the frog suit has come to a dead stop, yet it's keeping P-Speed. I, I just don't get it. You have 16 frames to jump before you lose P-Speed since you accelerate so fast by the time you land. Right, right, yeah. What? So like, I knew that with this, it's just, it's so weird to watch Mario come to a dead stop, but then keep P-Speed. <laughs> bail, bail, bail. Like, what is that? <laughs> look, it's just like little triangles. All right. Oh my God. Look at the frog suit there. Frog suit looks so cute. Yo, we finally get to use the frog suit. Don't tell me it's going to be slower to swim in this level. It is. Poor frog suit. Even in water levels, even in water levels, it doesn't get used. It's crazy because like we all love the frog suit, but can we agree that the frog suit is literally the worst Mario power-up in Mario history? Dude, there's no way to get that turtle? I guess it doesn't matter. What? That I was not expecting. The side pipe clip? What? I forgot about that. Oh my god. Tompa, don't tell me you got super sweaty and skipped the the hammer brother in this world. Don't even Don't tell me, okay? Yeah! I love P Speed with the frog suit. Are we gonna see Luigi? Nope. Oh, Tompa's doing it. Super sweaty. Okay, so you can do door three a few frames faster than what I normally do. And the way you have to do it is that when you enter this door, when you go back through this door, you can see Mario is in the jumping animation. If I did the same thing with P-Speed, then I could keep my jump right here in this room, like how the task does. And then I would be able to keep my P-Speed, which would result, I'm assuming in a couple frames faster, not many. It's not worth it, but a little bit of tidbit of knowledge for you all out there. Oh, there you go. Frog suit got a little bit of water there. That's sick. The shell jump. Oh, there's the Luigi. Most optimal Hammer Brother movements.
plates. Oh, you got the little kick animation out of the pipe. That's cute. Yeah, go back with the little kick animation there. The frog suit has always been Luigi all along. So if you get this Hammer Brother pattern in Warpless, you can cross the bridge with your cloud, right? Because the way the bridge works is that all the levels in World 3 in the Warpless category perfectly equal for you to cross the bridge. But the Hammer Brothers, there's two of those. If you fight both Hammer Brothers, the bridge is going to open and then reclose again. It's going to be perfect. In Warpless, if you do all the levels and fight one Hammer Brother, then you can't cross the bridge. It'll be open. That's why Runaway Bro is so big, right? It's such a big problem in this because if one of the brothers runs over here, then when you finish all the levels, you have one Hammer Brother, the bridge is open, you get screwed over. But the task, and like RTA runners could do this, but it never happens. If the Hammer Brothers both get stuck and move across and do what they did here, well, you'll beat all the levels, the bridge will be closed and you still get the hammer. It's an incredible time save. It's so stupid. All the corner boosting. And I assume he keeps P-Speed. Of course. Oh, there's Luigi again. Mario's feeling a bit froggy today. You can see the frog's penis on the map screen? No, you can't. This is a task, yeah. I would never do a frog suit run. Are you crazy? Look at how hard this shit is. Whoa, it does look like Mario has a peen. Whoa, TOS. I can't unsee it now. Look at that bulge right there. Now yeah, Mario's packing. That's so weird, you had to swim through it, right? No upper decker? Wait, in reality, does upper decker cost one frame? Am I- should I not be going for upper deckers? I thought upper decker saved frames because you didn't have to wait 16 pixels to drop lower. You lost a frame, we just learned that. Yo, Mizu, are you gonna come and beat beat this record? Are we gonna get some TAS frog suit comp- Whoa, that was cool. Are we gonna get some TAS frog suit competition going? Wait, why are you doing this level? You have the hammer. Oh, you got a really hammer, that's right. All right. How? What? How does that work? You you can't duck. How do you get Mario's head under there? Is Frog Suit lower in height than Big Mario, but taller than Small Mario? That clip is practically impossible for RTA. Well, obviously you haven't showed YouTube that clip. So same height as Big Mario. So how did that work? Because you can't duck. Mario's got the, the bigger bulge and a smaller box going on. Nice. Not a smaller box. Okay, so yeah, that trick's cracked out then. Yo, midair shell jump! Yo, that was cool. I think you could do this level faster, but that was swaggy as hell. And even if you could do it faster, be like one frame faster. Yeah, when you screen transition on the overworld map, you have one free frame of movement. So if you screen transition on top of a Hammer Brother, you can hold left or right, or up and down if you want and you will move for one frame before any activations trigger. Air walking is the coolest thing. It's so weird. You're like inside the block. No more cool things. Unfortunately, this airship doesn't really leave you room to do anything cool. I mean, you're doing some pretty cool wraparounds on them. The double wall jump just to show off. Mitch, why don't you double wall jump? That's a good question. I should learn it over the weekend. That is something I've always wanted to do. Oh my god, you even got the little clip too? Like what? Boom, boom, boom. That is faster. And you screen wrap too, right? You went to the left. 
How much time does that save, though? You never comp- What if it's slower? You never compared the two? Yeah, Toffa went for cooler. I don't think it's slower either. Just by the in-game timer alone tells you it's it's faster. Wait, Warpless? Why are you doing this in Warpless instead of the Fortress? Yo, Goomba Shoe with Frog Suit? Isn't that a fucked up thing to see? This level's faster than the Fortress? Is it because you can skip the Hammer Brother? I assume you jump over- What? I was just about to say, I assume you jump over those guys because you're going so slow, but I forgot it's a task. This, okay, would this run be absolutely impossible if they didn't give a vine climbing animation with frog suit? You can shell jump up there right, but can you still enter the pipe? Never mind then. I thought the whole run almost relied on that. Yo, look at the speed, right, with the flippers? So this is actually faster than RTA runners doing P-Speed, believe it or not. RTA runners could do it, I mean, if you wanted to, but you'd have to be crazy. Not only do you have to frame perfect jump to preserve the speed, but the level lags so much that like your timings would be all awkward. Oh, I thought you were gonna land on that. That was cool, that was cool. That was really cool. How close are you guys done to the new warpless and 100% tasks of this game? This is crazy. Uh, he's in frog suit because this is a frog suit tool assisted speedrun. Or it's me doing this all with one hand. Oh, whoops, I already cheated. Oh my god, you're like you're so close to the edge. I keep thinking you're gonna die. You're driving me crazy. Look at you, you're not even on the ledge! So obviously the task can't damage boost here. Cause like even though he stays in frog suit, he's just simi Yeah, wow, what? Sounds like like tanks on Atari or something. Frog suit go brrrr. Yeah, see, here's a one tile. The coin block. It had to have been the coin block. No need for a coin block? Oh, you have to cloud seven for one. See, I'm not thinking properly. I'm thinking one tile only. But one tiles aren't the only thing that can stop you. Right, now don't forget everyone, you have to use a P-Wing and a tail in 6-5. So he does 6-6, six, six. that's right, cool. Oh, what's the matter, you're not gonna get your little P-Speed and clip? You too good for that? Hey, we get some swimming! Finally! We finally get to use the frog suit. Swimming is slow, but it's cool. That congested ass area, oh my gosh. Gets the cloud. I can't believe you head stomped him too. You don't want to use the hammer too fast, Tom, but look at that menuing. Look at this menuing right here. You just get your ass kicked. Do you know what we should do, everyone? We should load up a save state with frog suit, go to a one tile gap, and see how long it takes me to get through the one tile gap. How long do you propose that it would take me to do that, Tampa? I mean, it's possible I could do it really fast, but like what, like how hard is it to get through a one tile gap as frog suit? It's not hard. Well, I mean, physically, no, it's not hard at all. But there's just like a lot of requirements that lets it work, right? <gasps> Wall jump frog suit? Hey. And he grabbed the block? Yep, yep, grabbed the block. Funny story is 
Okay, so you didn't get a chance to see it, but further to the left, there is an enemy. There's a turtle shell up here. However, when the screen hasn't scrolled up yet, you can't take damage from it. It's almost like the Koopa's not there. It's very weird. You could run into the Koopa while it's up there. You won't take damage, but you also can't stomp on it or grab it. It's there, but it's not there. It's weird. Schrodinger's Koopa. There is no Koopa, the Matrix, right? Man, if we could figure out a way to get back through that door, that'd be so cool. Top of the Gathers Ghosts! Can't wait for 7-4. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for 7-4 to be humanly possible. I'm very excited for that. You're, what? You were like moving backwards as the frog suit. So weird. When I was a kid, I really liked the frog suit, but the frog suit is horrible. It's awful for speedrunning. It's like, okay, now Tompa's showing off. The fact that he launched you and you still managed to hold right and right here, right there. That's like a recipe for disaster for any RTA runner, but he still landed back. That's so troll, man. It's so troll. Oh, you can't get high enough with a wall jump? That's okay, just do another one. World seven. What? I thought you were gonna do the level. Ah, I thought wrong. Please ignore me. I'm weird. <laughs> re just re-grab a block whenever you want. And pipe to pipe. Oh, yeah. Don't tell me you keep these feet. Of course you do. Nope, the 7 1 clip doesn't really work any different. Um, it's just Mario's speed is so much slower of Frog Suit. So you have to give yourself enough time to reach 33 speed in the small time of the jump, which is like really weird. You, I, you essentially would have to jump, build the speed, then frame perfect jump into the ceiling. That would be my guess. Yo, the double? The double? How how nice did that feel to finally be able to double, uh... You literally go from Islands 1 and 2 to, like, pretty much 5 and 6. Alright, so he doesn't do 7-7, seven, seven, right? I didn't think so. I mean, I've done that before too, but like, you were clearly in the fire there. What? Your face is in the fire. Yeah, Mario lighting a cigarette there. Like, what the hell? Look at this. Look, at okay. You can't even see the fireball because Mario is literally overlapping with it and you still didn't take damage. Yeah, water beats fire. I was just gonna say, is he gonna wall jump up and grab the block? I was literally thinking you were gonna do that. Okay, nobody... Why doesn't anyone talk about this level? This is by far one of my favorite levels so far in this task. What is that? <laughs> Dude, you weren't even facing left. You weren't even facing left when that block, that's so funny. I know what that, like, it's kind of like a mid-air block throw, but yeah. I'm pretty sure Tompa added a couple additional leg frames, but that was for the show. So you have to be in the air, I see. But how do you... You were in that fire, man. So for anyone who doesn't know, the bombs flash the color that Mario is. So since Mario is green right now, the bombs are gonna flash green before they blow up. When you're the hammer suit, they flash white. When you're big Mario, they flash red. When you're Tanuki suit Mario, they flash brown. It's very weird. It's just like tile sharing. They do the same thing with a lot of images in this game too. 
Like everyone knows the famous meme, Fireflower Mario looking out his window. It's a picture of Mario looking through the window that you see in the Boom Boom battles. So when I made a ROM hack, I tried to put Mario looking through the window, uh, but I can't because the, the window is just mirrored itself. So the game creators only created half of the window and then they just mirror it. They do it a ton in Mario 1. When I put Mario in the window in the uh, the editor, it was just the same side of Mario showing twice. So it didn't look like Mario. It's just weird. He might swim under the ship here. Didn't even get, there you go, he's swimming. Didn't even get the flower. Oh, is he going? He's going. All right. I did this when I was a kid. I don't even know how I knew about it as a kid. Just like everyone knew everything in this game all the time. Do you ever remember learning anything new in this game? I just remember knowing everything. Everyone knew everything. Maybe we had just the Mario thing. Because you could still go to game stores and buy issues of Nintendo Power without being subscribed, right? You could do that, couldn't you? Well, 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 Mr. No Hands. Yep, definitely gonna grab the shell, but how is it? <laughs> what the hell was that? You were so slow. So you hear, you can hear Mario jump a second time while inside the block and then a third time getting out, but you don't see him jump that second time. Watch. Yeah, one, two, three. It's so weird. Oh, there's swimming Luigi again. The strat is sus. What? What? Oh my god, dude, that's so... You had to have been pixels off of taking damage. You had to have been pixels off. Those flowers suck, yeah, I can tell. I can tell, that is gross. Toppa skips the fortress here. Yeah, right here, Toppa skips this fortress because if you remember, at the end of the fortress, there's a one tile gap with the spikes. There's no way he can get through without taking damage. This has got to be like the authentic frog suit run. So that's why, that's why he doesn't do it. I mean, that that is also a good reason too. It is a long level. I mean, it is a desired level that you would want to skip. One of the longest levels, non-auto scroller, that's for sure. It's impossible to do 100% frog suit. Yes, yes, I'm pretty sure Tompa says yes. That would be a yes. You want to know what's fucked up? It takes an additional 40 something seconds to beat Bowser. So if the frog suit could use the hammer suit on Bowser, this run would almost be faster than the world record, the RTA world record. That's pathetic how much of a difference the task can make. That is crazy. I'm surprised you land back on that. I was not expecting that. The bottom clip? Next level one up clip. I was not expecting that. What? I instantly was like, oh my God, should we start doing that? And I was like, no, don't be an idiot, bitch. Don't fall for Tompa's shenanigans. Yeah, new tech, yeah, right. You're just bullying Bowser so hard right now. You're just teasing him. Get dunked on, Bowser. Is Tompa gonna draw the 8-bit peen? The 2D 8-bit peen? Oh, yes he is. Oh, no he's not, you messed it up. Wait, one ball is bigger than the other, right? One ball is always bigger than the other. <laughs> yo, yo, that was a great run, Tompa. That was fantastic. That was very fun to watch. I think this is one of those things that because it's not a published noticed run, I think it flew under the radar. I'm not sure. Very cool.